many falsely assume that the simultaneous interpreters can automatically switch words from one language into another, like a machine. However, there is more to interpreting than meets the eye, or I should say, meets the ear. We basically have to be able to channel the speakers. In order to do that, we need to do the profiling like an FBI investigator. We frantically devour their books and articles, and anything that we can come by, written by the speakers. And we attentively listen to their previous speeches on YouTube, jotting down their keywords. So it's like cramming for final exams every day. On top of that, we still have to deal with cultural and linguistic differences between Japanese and English. English always starts with a subject followed by a verb, but in English, it's always, it's always, um, uh, no, sometimes, sorry, sometimes uh, Japanese subjects are omitted. And because of that, uh, we don't know whether, whether uh, the speaker uh, is talk if the speaker is talking about she or he or it or they or one or many. And one day, following incident happened. As Japan is still a male-dominated society, unfortunately, many CEO are men. And assuming that was the case, only interpreting a meeting halfway through, did I realize that the CEO they were talking about, who was not in the room, was a she. And furthermore, a verb comes at the very end in Japanese, so we don't know the verb tense, whether it be in past, present, future, positive, or negative, until the very end. Therefore, while simultaneously translating from Japanese to English, we feel like we are watching a thriller on, on the edge of our seats. On top of that, in Japan, there is a saying, not stating the obvious is as beautiful as a flower. While it may be so, it sure makes interpreter's job more challenging. <laughs> and this is a when the profiling comes in very handy because we can anticipate what the speaker is going to say. And we are also blessed with the opportunity to meet so many different types of people from all over the world, and that means we have to deal with various accents. An Indian telecom engineer spoke like this, in LT, PDCCH uses your uh, shared channel uh, for scheduling allocation for both uplink and downlink. <laughs> An Italian FN driver spoke like this, my passion for watches it's the same as for F1 driving. We're fighting against the time. <laughs> Porsche British CEO spoke like this. This liberating fact allowed me to speak more boldly than usual. <laughs> One of the most important lessons I learned as a simultaneous interpreter is that we need to place ourselves in the speaker's shoes completely and understand their perspective. Because if we let ourselves judge or interpret based upon our own frame of reference, the speaker's message may become distorted. In conclusion, I think the challenges that the simultaneous interpreters face may be the exact challenges that all of you are facing in this ever-changing world. Whether you are negotiating a contract, launching new products, resolving family issues, by channeling your counterparts, your family members, and placing yourself in their shoes, hopefully you can better understand where they're coming from, what you know, their viewpoints and their values for better results. Thank you.